Today we're gonna talk about the 208 count box from Crayola. This box came out in 2018. It doesn't really have anything that says it's 208 crayons. It has this on the front and then we have all our crayons inside. There are some duplicates, but we're gonna sort all of these today. I'm really excited to do this with you and to show you these. I know you guys also want the 240 crayons and we will do those too, but I wanted to show you this box today. It's really cool. I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crayon Collection. I help you guys find the coolest art supplies for whatever project you're doing. I'm really excited to sort this box today. And also I wanted to update you guys. I did a live this morning. It was my first time. Thank you so much for everyone who joined. It was so much fun to get all your input and see the questions and just kind of interact with you. We have the tournament that will be going live on Monday. You'll tune into Twitter and Instagram and then you can find that. If you guys don't have either one of those or if you just want to get it out of the way, I will set up a way that you guys can send that back to me. Maybe I'll have an email list so that way I don't have to email everybody that emails me. So I'll just email you the chart for every round and then you guys can send them back to me. That might be a little bit easier if you don't have Twitter and Instagram. But if you have Twitter and Instagram, join in on the fun, vote every day, get those numbers up for whatever color you guys want. I'm really excited to do this tournament this year. We're gonna talk about it in a lot of the videos. And you know, we could do a tournament for a different brand next time we're colored pencils, we could do it for prism color. Let me know if this is something you guys like and if you guys wanna do it again, because I think it's a lot of fun. I'm really excited and curious to see what everybody's favorite colors are out there. Let me know what you think the favorite color is gonna be in the comments below. And check out that video too. And let's get sorting these 208 crayons. Here we have the 208 crayon box. Like I said, there's nothing that specifies that has 208 crayons in it. We have these cute little sheets in here. Maybe we should color one. Let me know if you guys want me to color one of these. Let's see. Oh, you have to cut them out. There's little preparations. You don't have to cut them. There's little preparations to cut them. But that's really cute. Just a bunch of little sheets. This to protect it from the crayons. What comes in this crayon box? We have a crayon sharpener right here, and then we have all our little packs that come in here. See, this one is probably this one. There are some duplicates, and that's what we're gonna find out today. This 208 crayon box. And don't worry, we will do the 240, because even though they're duplicates, you guys like the sorting, so I will definitely make sure that happens for you. But I wanted to show you this, because I just picked this one up. Actually, when I got the Color of the World, I needed to get some other stuff to get free shipping. <laughs> so I picked this one up. I'm trying to see what duplicates we have. These are all construction paper, which is interesting to put in here in this 208. I will compare on my website. I'll do a detailed analysis of all the crayons that came in this box and like compare them with what comes in like the 152. Let's just dump all these out. I know we could look at which ones come in which box, but whatever. <laughs> this is my favorite way to sort crayons. It's just to dump them out. <laughs> Not to be all analytical about them. <laughs> Woohoo! Isn't that a lot of fun right there? The bottom of this box does say two eight crayons, one crayon sharpener. It has six coloring pages. This is like all the information, the style number, and the proof of purchase. Right now, I think Crayola.com is the only place I've seen this box. And we will get to sorting these crayons. I'm gonna start over here with the reds. I always like to start with the reds. I just like to push them all to the side. Let's start with our reds. I just start grabbing and go and I'm like, okay, I like to sort. A lot of people have commented on the way you sort. Thing is, I sort so I can use them. So if you have a different method of sorting, it's because you probably use them differently. It's a green. Hmm. That one looks pinkish. We got some orange, orange. A little more yellowy. But I like to start with the reds most of the time. Sometimes to change it up because I do sort a lot of crayons now. <laughs> Believe it or not. 
So, because I take pictures all the time, and I will take a picture and put this on my website for you guys to look at. I can also purchase th these crayons. I will leave a link below for you to do that. All right, we got some oranges, some more yellows. We'll just start putting them in. Let's see. Let's I want to see how fast can I sort these. Okay, another orange, maybe. Orange. Macaroni and cheese. And we have another macaroni. Oh, that's Atomic Tangerine. Like I said, I'll put this on the website and then you guys can see exactly what comes in this box. Then we have to push it over a little bit more. Just push, push, push. Okay, I'm putting in a picture. Okay. Next we this one kind of looks orangey. I'm gonna pull some of these reds out of here. We'll do the purples on the other side. Sometimes I like to do the purples on the same side as what we're doing, but it just really depends on my mood. And I mean, I think maybe sorting crowns is more like an art form. And sometimes you just want your art to look a little bit different than you did the day before. You don't want it to be boring. You want to change it up a little bit. Construction paper crayons. Look a little bit like the pearl ones that just came out. Okay, we are getting all our crayons out of here. Purples over here. I also like to sort perler beads. Not really. I did that one time for my daughter. Uh, when she, we got her some for Christmas and they came in these, like just a big, and of course you want them sorted because you can use them a little bit easier if we stop we can go up a little bit further right here okay oh. we should have like a crayon sorting contest we can all sort to me in, in person again like have it where you have who can sort the crayons the fastest. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Okay, we got some reds. And if I hadn't just thrown these out, <laughs> I could have probably kept some of the similar ones together, but that's boring. Who wants to do boring sorts? Okay. We are gonna take all the oranges up here. We've got more oranges down here to go. Get more red so we can put in. We do get a little bit of purples at the top. That's why sometimes I, so this is, um, pinks are really hard to put in because they have like white in them. So if you have a circle, they would be more on the inner side. So you kind of just have to pick a point at where you think it would go. It's not going to be perfect. And as I have said before, if you're sorting in a circle, it's a lot more accurate. And that's what I did when I did the hundred and fifty two. I was able to sort that way because that's how you store them. Like, is it red? Is it... I don't know. This one's like... Uh... Okay, so we have a pink coming in here. that's a duplicate okay and then I guess I, yeah I usually tell you guys the order right so 
I will make them all huh, be in order so you guys can see them. So there we have apricot and we have apricot. So we are finding duplicate colors in here, which is to be expected. Get more red there. Okay. Some scarlet. Then we just keep on going. start to pull out the greens a little bit. I'll have those go in the next row. We have a few more reds and such. See, this one's kind of yellow, that one's kind of brown. Just kind of pick a spot where you think. And then we have, these are very similar. I wonder if, oh, they're, they're slightly different. But I don't know what the construction paper crayons, if they're they have their own unique names or they're just like a regular box with kind of some additives to help make them color on construction paper easier. Maybe, I don't know. Our greens, our yellows. Come back and do some of these. Ooh, that one looks brown almost. I like orange. That's interesting. So we'll put it up here with oranges. Okay. It's like a pinky. Ooh, that one looks very similar, but a little bit different. Hmm. This one is Bittersweet Shimmer. So sometimes actually being able to look at the names will help us figure out where it goes. This one's interesting. It's maroon. It's dark. We have another maroon. And we have Big Dippo Ruby. Put it right there. That looks good to me. So our reds just barely fit in the frame. Move a few up here. See, do we have all our reds in there now? Yeah. <laughs> there, it, there are a lot of crayons right here. All right. Okay. Just put all the green ones up here. Like I said, we will have some duplicates. It's just inevitable. Well, not really inevitable. Crayola could have not put them in there. But I really want a huge box of crayons. That would be so much fun. 
My bank account probably doesn't know about that. Oh, buying these art supplies. Actually, crayons are not bad. What's really bad and what I really want to get are these Copic markers. I got 12 of them. They were $70. I want to get all of them, but I don't know if that's happening because they, those are, hmm, this one's very hard to place. Those are, like a thousand dollars. It's like, who has a thousand dollars to spend on markers? I wish I did, but I don't. Okay. Okay. Now I think we are good to go on to blues. Oh, we have a yellow hiding, which happens sometimes. Got one more green. This one's kind of yellowy. To get like a perfect, I mostly do this so that when I pull these out, I know where the color family is. But if you like wanted to get like a super accurate color swatching, you would do this, then you would swatch them, and then you would sort accordingly. And I don't know, if you guys want that, maybe I could do that in a video sometime where it'd be like a super complicated one. But for the time's sake, and for me, mostly, I just want these so when I open the box, it looks pretty. I'm not so much as concerned with, are they like 100% accurate? but can I find the color fast? That's mostly why I sort. Uh, you guys might sort for another reason. Let's take this one up here. Okay, we are getting a ton of colors. T but to make it like truly accurate, and even when you get to there, because it's not a circular, you're also gonna have that issue where they're not always gonna match up best. You, you'll have to make decisions on where to put certain colors. I'm just getting all the blues. I'll sort these afterwards after I get them all together. I just want to get these all out. If I wasn't doing this on camera, <laughs> I would have probably put them all over here somewhere. <laughs> where are we at? You put some of the gr greenish ones down here. look like we're gonna be fine okay we'll do some light ones up here and this greenish I'm gonna actually probably bring that one down here so you get on the blue scale you get greenish to purplish to grayish so that's where it makes it difficult is where you get those grays coming in they don't fall in line with some of the other colors see we have this gray right here this one's called wild blue yonder where it's a nice color but it's just you know in that gray so this one this is one where you would test it out see if it's more purpley you can't always tell either where a color lies on the spectrum just by looking at it. Sometimes you have to actually try it out. It'll be interesting to see if dandelion comes in this one or it doesn't. This one's purple. E. Oh, beautiful. I just saw beautiful. So we know beautiful, beautiful is in here. Denim, denim. So in my head, I know what these denim looks like. So I have all these random grays. Let's just take these out for a minute. So we've got our color spectrum going. That one looks pretty nice. What color is that? We got a blue. So I'm just taking that out so I can get an accurate representation. Another blue. We have three blues in here. So how many crayons are there actually in here? And 
definitely not. So this one's kind of, it's got the purpley in there, periwinkle. You just have to kind of go for it with these. Yeah. Look at the names. I put, I just have so many blues in here that it's a little confusing. Okay, because I almost sometimes like to put the grays next because the grays kind of blend into the, see this one's more reddish. But you can do whatever you want. We could do like a color family sorting. I, I know people do that. That would, oh, this one almost orchid probably goes over here. These two up here. If you hear that upstairs, that's my kids. <gasps> they are running around upstairs. We did. I did go ahead and have lunch really quickly. Okay, we're gonna pull all the browns. trying to do this on camera for you guys. We've got our purples up here. We've got our grays here. So that one's more bluish, so that's why, you know, putting grays after blues, you, you could very well do. And we've got our blacks. That one is, I don't even know, that looks like a brown. Browns, browns. We have a few blacks in here, I would imagine. We have like four whites here. So this is gonna have different lay down. I wonder if these are, I'll have to compare construction paper to the pearl crayons. That makes, that is interesting because construction paper crayons are made to go on black paper and so are like the pearl crayons. So I wonder if they're similar. That it very well could be that they just use the same ones and renamed them that. That's the thing with Crayola. Sometimes they'll have like different names of colors. They'll bring out a brand new box, but it's from an old, it's from a box that we've already seen before, but we just don't know it because you have to look at all the colors first and then you find out. Now I'm just kind of Looking at the tips right now to see if they're more bluish or more reddish. So I know where to put them. Like I said, you can also look at the names of the crayons to see that also. Um, I go by I a lot of times. You can do whatever you want. Like this one's plum. This one is violet purple. The wrapper is more reddish, but the actual colors more reddish so that's why I put that one there okay so all these things I'm just trying to <laughs> tell you guys all these things as I'm going through so it looks like we did maybe get uh, three of the standard pack in here and we have our brown so we're done no <laughs> we're not done Sometimes I like to arrange brown in like a rainbow brownish color order. So like do the reddish browns, the orangish browns, uh, all that kind of stuff. That's some of my thoughts on that. But you can't exactly do that 100% either because you do get brown is basically a mixture of all the colors. So some of them are going to be but that. This one is peach. It actually probably should go in here with the other colors that are similar to that we got three apricots so maybe i think apricot is in the 24s this one is bittersweet shimmer which looks very red so i will put that up there okay another is this another brown yes we have three browns so that makes it a little bit easier So 
is blast off bronze and this is also bronze i believe copper copper do we have a bronze in here that one's gold and gold oh i should put that with these so we need to take these two out of here these are more yellow gold is more of like an ochre color ochre is brown is yellow reddish okay here's all my crayons 208 sorted next what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this nice so I can take a picture of it and then I will say all the color names for you guys so that way you guys can if you get this box you can sort it in this way or you just so you can know and then I will also put this on my website so you guys will be able to see uh, all the colors that come in this box to decide if you want to get it now I am putting these all together. I'll make this go fast. But I wanted to show you guys kind of the process of how to do it in case, I don't know if any of you are gonna try to take pictures of crayons, but maybe you are. So first I like to line them up with a ruler. That way it just gets that basic, I mean, it's not perfect. Like I said, if I was gonna do everything absolutely perfect all the time. It would take a lot of time. So I try to get it the best I can. You know, I don't measure and make sure the crayons are the exact same width apart and everything, but you can see how much better that's already looking just with this ruler. And then the other, the next part is I'll be rolling the crayons so we can see all the names. That way when I take a picture also, I can find all the names of the crayons, but yeah, I don't know if this there's any place that has the name of all these crayons. So it was pretty easy. So then I come here. Doing crayons is a lot easier than colored pencils and markers. Oh my gosh, so sorry. Sometimes they just like to roll and roll. And while we're coming through here, I actually got, <laughs> for as fast as I was going, I have the duplicates pretty good right here. But if I don't, like I can do this. And then I will also at the end go through and straighten them up again. Because as I'm going, I'll be knocking them over and stuff like that. All right, I think I'm finally done. It took me longer to do that than to sort the crayons. It's, they're so fickle. They like to move around on you. So it, it is a little difficult to make these all nice. Sometimes I get as close as I can. I take the picture and then I'm done because it does take a lot of time. So we'll take the picture really fast. I've taken my picture. I don't know how good it turned out. Uh, it's done. We're gonna go through all these colors and I'll let you know. Okay, so we have Orchid, Marvelous, Lavender, Purple Fizzazz, two times, Fuchsia, two times, Cerise, two times, Red Violet, three times. And what's interesting that I've noticed is in this batch, some of the wrappers are actually a different color even though they're the same name. Jazzberry Jam, Magenta, Maroon, twice, Razzmatazz. We've got Red three times, Wild Strawberry, Violet Red, three times. Razzmatazz, Brick Red, Big Dipper Ruby, Shimmering Blush, Carnation Pink twice, oh, three times. We have a Construction Paper Crayon, Tickle Me Pink, another Construction Paper Crayon, Salmon, Hot Magenta two times, Razzle Dazzle Road, Rose two times, Shocking Pink two times, so all the neons are in here twice. Wild Watermelon, Radical Red, uh, we have a Construction Paper Crayon, Aloe Orange, Melon, Red Orange, three times. Scarlet, three times. Mango Tango, twice. Vivid Tangerine, Outrageous Orange, twice. Yellow Orange, three times. And the this wrapper color is a different wrapper color than that. Orange, Vivid Tangerine. So we have Vivid, vivid Tangerine twice. They just went by each other. Neon Carrot, Atomic Tangerine, twice. Macaroni and Cheese, we have a construction paper crayon. Apricot, three times. Peach, we have a... Construction Paper Crown, Sun Glow twice, Unmillow Yellow twice, 
metallic sunburst once, goldenrod yellow three times, laser's lemon twice, a construction paper grand, a yellow one, spring green, green yellow three times, electric lime two times, inchworm two times, olive green, yellow green three times, screaming green twice, granny smith apple, sheen green, a green, a light green construction paper crayon, asparagus, forest green, shamrock twice, jungle green, green three times, jungle green, so we have jungle green twice, pine green, tropical rainforest twice, sea green, illuminating emerald, we have a, a let's say it's kind of a greenish, bluish, turquoise construction paper crayon, pine green, robin's egg blue, now we have Definitely a more turquoise uh, construction paper crayon. We have metallic seaweed, still blue. Turquoise blue, we have blue green three times, a bluish construction paper crayon. Sky blue, wild blue yonder twice, cornflower, cerulean three times, midnight blue, pacific blue, beautiful three times, navy blue twice. We have a blue construction paper crayon. Blue we have three times, denim twice, indigo three times, midnight blue, bedazzled blue, deep stay sparkle, cadet blue, merry periwinkle, blue violet three times. And what you'll notice about this is this is very different. This is more reddish, this is more bluish, but they're the same crayon. Royal purple violet, pur purple three times, and it's the same thing. This is the more reddish wrapper. Uh, then we have royal purple, did I say? Purple Mountains Majesty, a purple construction paper crayon. Wisteria, another, uh, it's kind of a wisteria construction paper crayon. Cyber Grape, Rasmic Berry, Plum, Black three times, gray construction paper crayon. Timber Wolf, three grays. Sonic Silver, silver white three times. We have a white construction paper crayon. Bittersweet Shimmer, Mahogany, Bittersweet. Chestnut, burnt orange, tan, brown three times. And these are all different wrappers. I mean, there's two different wrapper types. Blast Off Bronze, Sepia. This one is Copper two times. Raw Sienna, they did not want to stay. I think the table might be tipped forward a little bit. And then this one's Gold Fusion. We have Gold, and then we are, the last we have is Burnt Sienna. There's some crayons that are in here twice, some that are in here three times. So one sleeve was probably in here. Uh, like, we have Black, White, Yellow, Blue green, blue to full. Some of these we have three times and some of them we only have twice. How many unique crayons are in here? I will let you guys know. We're gonna actually put these back in. This is one of the important parts of it. You can choose any since this is just like this. We're gonna scooch it all over. We did all, spent like 20 minutes organizing that. Now we're just putting it back in so you can start off like this. These are be, gonna be going back and forth like that. So. Uh, sometimes if they're side by each other, that's, that'll be a consideration, but since these are just back and forth, we can zigzag back and forth. It'll be pretty easy to put all these back in. And I like to just kind of lean it forward a little bit to put them back in, make it a little bit nicer. All right. So we have our first box. Start on whatever side you want, whatever size of pack you want, it doesn't really matter. They're just gonna be a rainbow going back to the back. So you can start with the blacks and the browns on the front, or you cannot. Sometimes I put the browns with the reds too. It really just depends on my mood. I'm like, oh, what should I do? As far as color wise. These will look super pretty in there. That's it. I'm just grabbing boxes. <laughs> Whatever's available. They were, of course, put in there. You know, a, the sleeve. They probably pulled a sleeve to put in here. It'd be interesting. I wonder if all of the boxes like this have the same crayons or if they, if there's some differences. But it seems pretty consistent. Like, the threes were the... Like, I think the 16 pack, and then they put maybe from the 24 pack, they put uh, two of those, and then some of the fluorescent, they put two of those in there. All right, we 
got this one done. This one's next. I'll have to do the 240 kinds next. That's going to take a while. <laughs> No, not today. Pretty, those are looking.
There we go. We have all 208 crayons sorted. Don't they look so pretty? I love how they're all like in a line. It looks, you know, the zigzag pattern looks so pretty. So make sure that you check out some of my other videos. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button below. Which color was your favorite? How do you guys sort your crayons? Uh, do, you, do you start with red? Do you start with brown? Do you start with purple? Do you start in the middle, like with yellow or something? But I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.